Recently, an ocean enthusiast who was left bloodied after being attacked while swimming in Australia told reporters, I still love sharks, as she was stretched off to the hospital. That really happened. She was swimming with the amazing ancient animals while filming a shark documentary, and still she loves them, despite the bite. While public opinion appears to be turning in favor of sharks, thanks largely to the advent of social media, it seems the internet is ablaze with concern regarding conservation. This enthusiasm and public support is encouraging and vital, especially considering all the damage done in the Jaws era. It's becoming increasingly important that a broader view of these exceptional animals is urgently needed. Starting here. Here are 15 sharks you won't believe actually exist. Number 15. Basking Shark Our first shark will begin with number two. The very unique basking shark is the second largest living shark after the whale shark. Adults typically reach 26 feet in length, but have very small brains, about three inches, which have evolved due to the lack of requirement for hunting and limited energy from their diet. These sharks have all the chill. In 2015, a 20-foot-long, 7,000-pound basking shark was caught accidentally by a fishing trawler in the Bass Strait in Southeast Australia, the first basking shark caught in the region since the 1930s and only the third reported in the region in 160 years. The whole shark was donated to the scientists for research, instead of the fins being sold for use in shark fin soup. And yeah, that's a thing. Shark fin soup, anyone? A surprising skill of the slow-moving basking shark is its ability to breach. Like its relatives, the great white shark and the mako shark, basking sharks can leap in the air. Basking sharks are thought to breach for a number of reasons, to rid themselves of parasites and during mating season. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14, Viper Dogfish. Okay, now we're entering some strange territory. Viper dogfish are dynamite deep sea dwellers, found about 1,000 feet below the surface, but it's possible that they may venture even deeper than this. When you look like this, you go wherever you want. The elusive creatures were only first discovered in 1986, and conservationists list the viper dogfish as data deficient because so little is known about their populations. So here's what we do know. The inky shark is known for its set of extendable glassy jaws, lined with crooked nail-like teeth. You probably won't go swimming with the viper dogfish, but don't let the dogfish's menacing grin fool you. These sharks rarely exceed 18 inches nose to tail. Scary looking? Yeah. Big? No. Viper dogfish have only been found in waters off the coasts of Japan, Taiwan, and Hawaii, and they're hard to catch. Their small, narrow bodies may help them evade mesh fishing nets, and of the five that were caught, one was reportedly still alive when it was pulled from the water. Researchers submerged it and hoped to keep it alive to study it further, but it didn't make it, unfortunately. Number 13. Glow-in-the-dark pocket shark. Researchers found a new species of pocket shark that possibly glows in the dark. In the history of fishery science, only two pocket sharks have ever been captured or reported, said a biologist. What makes this documentary so cool is this very little shark has numerous light-producing organs or photophores covering much of the body, which helps the shark luminescence in the deep sea. Now, it may be small enough to fit in your pocket, but that's not how it got its name. The pocket shark gets its common name from a small pocket gland that's found behind each pectoral fin on either side of the shark. The purpose of this gland is still unknown as not enough specimens have been found to investigate the matter. The closest suggestion for the purpose of this gland is to act as a luminous pouch. In the history of fishery science, only two pocket sharks have ever been captured or reported. Both are separate species, each from separate oceans. Both are exceedingly rare. The first pocket shark ever discovered was found off the coast of Chile in 1979. Number 12. Ornate Wabagong The ornate wabagong is a distinctively colored bottom-dwelling species that occurs on inshore reefs and near offshore islands, recognized by its body shape and coloration. Hard to miss. Given this species' color, it's the perfect camouflage among the reefs, sheltering it from predators. 
The ornate wabagong shark is nocturnal, resting on the bottom during the day and prowling on its reef habitat at night. Found at depths of 0 to 200 feet, the ornate wabagong shark presumably feeds on bottom invertebrates and fish. Where to find them? They're endemic to Australia and surrounding regions, but they're devoted homebodies. An individual was spotted in the same region, an area less than a third of a square mile, for more than 200 days. And they have an incredibly unique way of giving birth. Ornate wabagongs have an ovoviriparous reproductive strategy, a combination of laying eggs and live birth. They have between 4 and 18 pups at a time, each approximately 7 inches long at birth. And fortunately, these precious sharks are in danger from humans and vice versa. Number 11. Old Hitler for decades in Florida, the legendary hammerhead shark, Old Hitler, has been the subject of fishing legends up and down the Gulf of Mexico. Depending on the source, the famous hammerhead shark had a head as wide as a truck and was longer than most of the fishing boats it swam around, big enough to swallow other sharks in a single bite and strong enough to drag a jeep from the shoreline by its bumper-mounted winch. And although tales of massive hammerheads have been common up and down the coast since the turn of the 20th century, it wasn't until World War II that those tales took on near-mythical proportions. Apparently, there was a swastika-shaped scar on its forehead, a result of either a propeller scar or the carvings of some wayward local youth. It was just one of many battle scars that covered its dark brown skin. For as long as fishermen have set their lines in the Gulf, encounters with those massive hammerheads have been common. In 1905, while turtle fishing off the coast of the Everglades, Captain Charlie Thompson hauled in a 20-foot hammerhead weighing 2,169 pounds. Tackle shops that nobody talks, everybody says they've seen the old Hitler. Number 10. Kamakai the Tiger Shark Usually when people get bit by a shark, it's this species, the tiger shark. The world's second most deadly species of shark is getting bigger and stronger, a marine biologist has revealed. And there's an abundance of smaller species for the deadly tiger shark to eat. Meet Kamakai, believed to be the biggest ever recorded, an 18-foot long one. This giant submarine of a shark came along and made the other ones look like little chihuahuas. Tiger sharks swim up to 60 miles a day, so finding them can be like a needle in a haystack. Getting close to an animal like this is very special. Tiger sharks normally reach about 12 feet long, but as you can see by Kamakai, they can get big. Tiger sharks have broad diets. They eat everything from albatrosses, venomous sea snakes, and other sharks to man-made objects like paint cans, leather jackets, rubber tires, and even license plates. That scene in Jaws where Hooper pulls a Louisiana plate from the stomach of a dead tiger shark is scientifically accurate, but better the license plate than a person. Would you swim with a tiger shark? Number 9. Volcano Dwelling Shark Sharks and volcanoes? These sharks are wild and a little weird. Several species of shark, ranging from reef sharks, hammerheads, and scalloped hammerheads, make regular appearances in one of the world's most active submarine volcanoes. The shocking discovery was made in 2015 at the Solomon Islands Kavachi Volcano. And of course, scientists have since dubbed the marine volcano the Sharkano. Scientists were shocked to find not just life, but large carnivores circling its turbulent base. An ocean engineer close to the unusual discovery said, The idea of there being large animals like sharks hanging out and living inside this volcano conflicts with what we know about the Kavachi volcano, which is that it erupts. Exactly why sharks inhabit this volcano remains to be one of the world's enduring marine mysteries. Scientists believe the sharks must have mutations that let them thrive in this harsh environment. Interesting, right? And where's the film version of this story, like Sharknado? You know, a movie with sharks and volcanoes? Grab some popcorn and some drinks, because that's a perfect night in. Number 8. Bluntnose Sixgill Shark The Bluntnose Sixgill Sharks are primitive sharks, and of course, they're big. They have six pairs of long gill slits on each side of their broad head, comb-like yellow lower teeth, and a long tail. The biology and habits of this species are not well known because of its deep water lifestyle, although the species has been observed from research submersibles off Bermuda in California. Although it is a fierce hunter, it still has to stay aware of its own predators. Potential threats include the Stellar's sea lion, killer whale, and of course, the great white shark. 
However, blunt-nosed six-gill sharks are strong predators. Adults are very sensitive to and become distressed by light exposure, thus they spend their day in the dark depths and forage closer to the surface mainly at night. They're generalists, feeding on great variety of prey that are likely ambushed at close range. The diet includes other sharks, skates and rays, many kinds of large bony fish, and invertebrates including squid, crabs, sea cucumbers, and shrimp. So this shark eats whatever it wants. Number 7. Goblin Shark There's still a lot of mystery surrounding the life of these terrifying animals, the spooky goblin shark. But we do know where they live. The goblin shark has been known to lurk between 100 and 5,000 feet below the Pacific, Atlantic, and Indian Oceans. Its scary look starts with unusual coloring, from pinkish to purplish gray, with bright blue around its fins. The creature's muscles are flabby, its skeleton is mushy, and its weird skin is thin and transparent. Definitely a face only a mother could love. So the goblin shark likely hunts its prey by exploring electric fields. Crazy, right? But the strangest feature of this monster is its jaw. It can be extended to the length of its snout to help ambush fish, squids, and crustaceans. The goblin shark's jaws shoot out, racing forward at a whopping 10 feet per second faster than any other shark. In fact, it's faster than most cobra snakes, faster than you can shout boo. At maximum extension, the jaws make up almost 10% of the shark's entire body length. That's a huge chomp from a shark that grows to be over 10 feet long. Number 6. Deep Blue The deep blue is the largest great white shark ever caught on camera, 20 feet long, 8 feet high, and weighs 2.5 tons, with razor-sharp teeth and huge fins. Deep Blue was initially identified in the 1990s. However, images and footage of the largest great white shark on record were only captured for the first time in 2013. Mauricio Padilla, a shark specialist, was conducting research with his team when he found Deep Blue swimming around the boat. It's the biggest female I've ever seen in my life, stated Padilla. Deep Blue was very calm and just doing circles around us. That's when we realized how big she was. Padilla ended up having a close interaction with the queen of the ocean and high-fived her. Deep Blue is frequently spotted in predictable spots year after year. Great white sharks are very curious and will often poke their heads out of the water or follow boats just to see what's happening, a behavior called spy hopping. In nature, this is an important behavior for a great white to master as it allows it to spot its prey, like seals, that spend time on land and its predators, like orcas, which need to come to the surface to breathe. Number 5. El Monstruo Cuba is known for many things, and giant shark hangout can be added to that list ever since a great white called El Monstruo, or the monster, was found off the coast in 1945. As legend has it, six fishermen set out to catch whatever was eating their fish, and when they found it, the culprit clocked in at 21 feet and 7,000 pounds. However, the fishermen likely embellished their story. Nevertheless, a photo taken after El Monstruo's capture shows several people sitting on top of its body, which shows its massive girth. Now, however, experts have been able to verify the tale, even speaking with an elderly man who touched the animal when he was a child. Observing images of the giant shark, the man was able to identify himself as a youngster sitting upon El Monstruo's head while crowds gathered around. The Great White is at the top of the food chain and has few threats in the ocean. Only orcas and larger sharks can pose a risk. The only other risk to the great white shark is human interaction. They are sometimes caught by accident in fishing nets or intentionally sought out by sport fishermen. But good luck catching these monsters! Number 4. Prickly Shark Now what about this weird animal? The prickly shark is a rarely seen shark native to the waters around New Zealand, Hawaii, and the Philippines. This stocky, moderate-sized shark has two small dorsal fins located far back on its body and no anal fin. It gets its name from the defense covering of small thorn-like dermal denticles on its body. In fact, it's very abrasive to the touch, much more so than most other sharks. The prickly shark is nocturnal, resting during the day and migrating to shallower waters at dusk. This shark is tolerant of lower dissolved oxygen levels, so it can enter waters generally inaccessible to other sharks. Studies on one pregnant female show a litter of up to 114 young, hence it has one of the largest litters among all shark species. That's a lot of baby sharks. 
And even when these unique talents, it's little to no economic value commercially as its meat is considered too soft, but it's often caught as bycatch by deep water fisheries. Oops. For now, conservationists list this species as near threatened, although continuous intrusion by deep water fishing could place it in a more risky category soon. Is the prickly shark, so called because its skin is strangely rough. Number 3. Megamouth Shark The Megamouth Shark was first discovered in 1976 by a U.S. Navy research vessel operating around Hawaii, dubbed the Megamouth Shark due to its gaping mouth and huge jaw. On an individual approximately 16 feet in length, the mouth is 4 feet across. You could actually swim into it! The Megamouth Shark is a large species, reaching weights of 2,700 pounds. However, it's the smallest of the three species of filter-feeding sharks behind the whale shark and the basking shark. This species has only been observed in the wild a few times, and less than 60 individuals are known by scientists to ever be captured or observed. The Megamouth, believed to be diurnal, meaning the creature mostly operates during the day, regularly alternates between the shallow and deep waters of mostly Taiwan and Japan, but have also been observed traveling from the Atlantic Ocean right through to the Pacific and Indian Oceans. But their preference remains a mystery. But they won't bite. They eat plankton and other microscopic delights. Number 2. Sharp Nose Seven Gill Shark the sharp-nosed seven-gill shark is a relatively uncommon species of cow shark found in deep water all over the world. It may be common, but it's definitely a shark to pay attention to. This species is thought to be more common on outer shelves, slopes, and around seamounts, uprisings in the ocean bed that don't quite reach the water surface. The effect of these raised marine landscapes on currents seems to be increased local food richness, causing the attraction of plankton, fish, and other organisms. Thus, these areas tend to support increased fishing activity. Sharp-nosed seven-gill sharks are not considered to be a threat to humans. Of course, they're strong fish with sharp teeth, so that doesn't mean they're docile. They've been kept in captivity in Japan, but are known to be very aggressive. Sharp-nosed seven-gill sharks may be confused with broad-nosed seven-gill sharks, though broad noses are usually much larger. Still, there's no confusion about wanting to bump into these strange sharks. Number 1. The Greenland Shark Ah yes, no shark list is complete without this super shark, and they deserve an award. Greenland sharks are now the longest living vertebrates known on Earth, scientists say, and estimated that one was about 400 years old. Now that's old. Native to the North Atlantic and Arctic waters around Greenland, Canada, and Iceland, species that live there can grow to enormous sizes. And Greenland sharks can too reaching over 22 feet in length and can weigh over a ton easily. While known to be scavengers, they're also opportunistic predators and will ambush prey. But to conserve energy, they tend to take a craftier approach, sneaking up on prey while they sleep. Yet speed is not their forte. Greenland sharks are slow, conserving energy is vital to these shark survival. Cruising at around just one foot per second, Greenland sharks are the slowest sharks in the world. So, if you run into a Greenland shark, Swim fast, very, very fast, because you'll actually escape this shark if you try. Those were 15 sharks you won't believe actually exist. Thanks for watching.